with me. <laughs> These are my girls. You, everyone knows Sarah already. But this is Lauren. She's back for spring break from her college and I'm so glad to have her. <laughs> Anyways, we thought we would try doing a mom daughter, three of us here, um, to put an arrangement together. So I will let them talk a little bit. Go so, ahead, Sarah. So um, the flowers that we have today is a um, pink, white, and yellow arrangement. Very springtime, which if you saw our last arrangement, it was very similar except we switched the yellow for green. Huh. Well, wasn't the last True. time the uh, sunset one? Yes, it was sunset inspired. This time it's springtime inspired. Yes. And we have some pokey little flowers over here. Do you know what they're called? No. Um, um, they're a form of chrysanthemum, aren't they? Yes, they are. They're just a little bit more lacy than normal. Last week we had some chrysanthemums so were a little bit tightly, um, like a ball, and they were green. But this one I thought was kind of striking because they're a little bit um, lacy, less, less compact. The next flower we have is these pink ones, and these are... Lauren. <laughs> <laughs> um, they start with an R. They're These ranunculus. Are, yeah. And last week we had those as well, and they were in burgundy. This time it's um, pink. And, oh gosh, I actually made it to Trader Joe's early enough <gasps> in the morning. And I got some different flowers than, of course, in the past. So, morning is definitely a good time to go. So our filler flowers are over here. If you've seen our videos before, then you know we have like statement flowers and then filler flowers. And these ones are another form of twig. We, <laughs> <laughs> we oh typically gosh. have some type of twig. Yeah. This is called green mix variety. No, I don't know what the name of it this is. This is a green mix variety But twig. it's got some very interesting needles. It's kind of, it looks a little pokey. It looks kind of like a fern. Um, these... <laughs> and this. we know what these are. Do you remember from last week? Chamomile. Chamomile, that's right. Yeah. Okay, Lauren, what about these? Take it away, Okay, Lauren. so these are some other, so we have our bigger flowers, our filler flowers, and then we have our medium flowers. And so these are spray um, roses. Spray roses! So they're like roses, but smaller. I'll yes. do a thing on And it's time. really beautiful. <laughs> Aren't these color beautiful? I yeah. feel like the spray roses um, really act as a filler flower as well as a focal point. Yeah, and then these ones are yellow. Um, my mother told me all of the- Oh, oh no! You have one! <laughs> <laughs> oh she dear. broke it! She oh broke gosh. it! Okay, okay. Well, well it's, okay. it's okay. This is her first time here. <laughs> we oh won't kick God. her out. We won't her out. Her first time and she's already oh. breaking things. Okay. Not too close because like, the camera can't oh, focus. Sorry. But that's well, okay. There's two that are broken, Sarah. Ah! Sniff that bad boy. Oh dear. Oh jeez Louise. Oh well. Okay. All what fixed. was this one called again, Mom? It's called a freesia. Oh, that's right. A freesia. It's and a freesia. Freesias grow um, from little bulbs. And they come in a variety of colors. Um, white is a typical one, yellow and pinks and um, a lavender purple. And what we found out today is that yellow symbolizes friendship, right? Oh, very nice. So, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you, you were there with me when I pulled it. Oh. Yes, and the ranunculus is also from a bulb too. So if you ever go to a store and find these bulbs during springtime, you can plant it in your yard and then have these beautiful flowers come up. All right, so we have different vessels today as well. Today we have nicer ones than usual. These are not <laughs> from the dollar store. Not from the Dollar Tree. This um, one came from Target. Target. And um, it's such a cute little uh, 
pot. It's got a good <laughs> shape. Lauren, what, what did you say this looked like? I keep saying it looks like the torso from of one of the robots from the robots movie because of oh. the circular shape and because these look like shoulders. It looks like the one that just rolls around, right? And yeah. it looks a little like, fat. Like this. Well, no, that looks like shoulder, you know, like very structured like shoulder, shoulder pads. pads. Yeah. Like in the 80s, yeah. shoulder pads. Mm -hmm. And then, yeah, it's such a cute, it's, it's <laughs> kind of, today's inspiration is more like the spring um, earth tones, um, very mild um, pottery barn-ish too. So my <laughs> vessel came from Maybe? Hobby Lobby. That's right, Hobby Lobby. And um, it was on sale. So this was about five bucks, not too Ooh. bad. And this was also from Hobby Lobby as well. That one is really, really cute. It's got a cute little shape as well. Yeah. It looks like a little cookie jar. Yeah. Yeah. And that was about five bucks on sale. On Surprisingly, sale. Hobby Lobby has great markdowns too. Great, great markdowns. <laughs> we like that. So today, all the flowers that I have here uh, worked out to be less than $25 as well, so between the three arrangements that we're going to make, it's $7.50 ish, right? Seven times three is 21. I can't do quick math very well, but around seven bucks each. So if you ever want to make a flower arrangement, my best advice is buy the variety that you want, make multiple arrangements, and then that way you get to keep one and you get to give one away. We're going to go on fast mode again so you can see what we're going to end up with at the end. See you later! So happy and so <laughs> cute. It's so bubbly. I love I love the little pot. This 
is mom's arrangement. I mean, this is Anne's arrangement. <laughs> I mean, this is Annie's arrangement. Okay, there we go. I think it turned it out pretty a very well. Nice shape. I like how it goes this way. Yeah, I was trying to yeah. make it kind of go like this and like this. I think it turned out great. Okay, and here's Lauren. Mine is kind of all over the place. As I you might have seen. Pretty. Yes, this Me is her story. first arrangement. I think she did a fabulous job, don't you think? I think Yay! so. Lauren! Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> we hope you had fun watching us in fast mode. And if you want to subscribe, please like our video and put down comments below of what you liked. And then also I will list out the flowers that uh, we have today. And they're all from Trader Joe's, like I said before. In the comment section below, you should leave your favorite flower and maybe it will be featured next week. Yes. And That's maybe it idea. will be featured next week. So we hope you will put <laughs> some color in your life and bring some joy in making beautiful arrangements like this. Until next time, see ya. See ya. Bye. <laughs>